Hey there folks, yes, my mom decided to give me a chance to do a review, and what do you think of my room? Yeah, I like the beast. Hades is a funny villain, and yes, I do say I don't use magic in my room, never do. Believe me, my mom even gave me a book on how not to use magic. And of course, a raggedy and doll that she gave me, and my bookcase, and my favorite princess. Okay, let's get this started. I want to show mom I can do this so she can relax and rest with papa. <laughs> Episode is season two. Listen, <clears throat> listen zero. Oh God, she's gonna go totally mad pony on us, Twilight. <clears throat> the episode starts up with Twilight and Spike walking through Ponyville, collecting items, checklists for pictures, picnics. This reminds me of my mom. She'd always make checklists. Oi, moms. Twilight goes on and picks an order of cupcakes and finds out the Miss Cake added one extra cupcake with icing was touching another one. And being her over exotic self, she tried to make a cupcake look exactly as the same, which failed every attempt. But in the end, she got to be perfect. Then again, that's how my mom is like. She's like trying to act be Miss Perfect. That's how my mom is. In any case, Spike is left covered in frosting, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Reminds me of my sister when she was trying to bake cupcakes once. Mom, she's telling the story again. Raven? Sorry. Sorry, Sally. Ugh, sisters. Just can't wait to leave and go to college. <laughs> Which he licks it off afterwards. They head home to Golden Look I Library. I love libraries. Like my bookcase here. Mm -mm. The checklist done complete. Spike points out that Twilight has not written a letter to Celestia. This week, causing the whole unicorn to go completely crazy. Or, as you say in this one, which I'll try to copy your voice. <clears throat> this is bad. Bad. Of course it's bad. I'm supposed to send Princess Celestia a letter every week telling her about the lessons I've learned in the friendship. Not even over a week. Not even ten days. Not even a single week. There you go. I love practicing. Plus, <laughs> Twilight's supposed to be my mom's hero. Okay, case, Twilight checked her calendar and found out it had been exactly one week since her last letter from Princess. The transfer of possibilities being already in a state of extreme exotic. Twilight just concluded that the Princess could punish her and send her to, oh god, this is so stupid, to kindergarten? Really, Twilight, your fears would ever, ever prompt you to make him go cuckoo. Magic Kingdom, seriously. Twilight invents herself and sends a classmate surrounded by mock and bolt. But the thought of Hoppin' by Spike, as her reason is the princess would never allow this thing to happen. Ignoring her sessions word of wisdom, Twilight became the man to solve the friendship problem and had a letter written to Princess Celestia. Oh, here it goes down and out. Before showdown, she first drilled Spike on her problems. On his problems. When he he has none, Twilight goes out to find a friend in need, and, expectantly, Spike groans and states, This will end well. It would never end well. While looking around Ponyville, Twilight overhears Rarity crying at her, so at her shop. A lost some diamond ribbon she required for a dress before Twilight can help her. How Rarity finds the ribbon she needs much to Twilight's appointment while searching for her own for other friends. Twilight finds Rainbow Dash joining the old bond. Sweet Apple Acres. Twilight thinking that Rainbow Dash are uh, fighting each other, which is not. Often stops Rainbow Dash. However, Rainbow Dash informs Twilight that Applejack asked her to destroy the old bond to make one for a new one, which happened to confirm the fact that it was. Mm, Dash finished off demolishing and deriving the bond and created colorful mushroom explosion. <laughs> no one here resists the guy. Kaboom. Then she went to, went to find out any more problems, but Twilight decided to visit it. However, when she airs her card, Twilight sees Flush Eye fighting a bear and decided to back up. Extreme of all these days, she has to stop being a such a scared pony. She has to pick today. As Twilight leaves into pairs, if we would have thought it was actually adding and giving a massage, which is rather good. Then again, once in a while I would see my mom give and my grandpa a feet massage. Ew. Raven, you don't have to tell them that. If you keep doing this up, I will. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh, moms. Mm -mm. Twilight grows more worried and Robbie becomes unhinged. Start going cuckoo, 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 kind of like Joker did. And her own reflection in the puddle. Adopt into two separate Remind you from the ring. 
Lord of Rings. I kind of like Lord of Rings. As my sister hates it. Mom, she's not much of a Lord of the Rings fan, but I am. <sighs> I love the guy who plays the major hottie. Him. <clears throat> I read it. One day, Ryan and she will not make a deadline. And others insist it's still part of the solve problem time. She starts hallucinating a small Philly pony lavender before Spike intervenes, revealing the lavender pony are just small Philly and this playing jump rope nearby. Spike then reminds Twilight about the picnic. She heads out to meet up with her friends, but very agile and very slightly crazed Twilight her picnic explains to her friend that she needs the time to help out find the friendship problem for Prince Celestia and the other five ponies brushed off her issues nothing. Laughing and claiming Twilight has nothing to worry about. She angrily went away continues to search with the problem. Which the French should have, you know, stick with her. Idiots. Morons. Complete it hoes. You know what I mean? Not, you know, like, it, it hoes. You know, like, itchy, 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 itchy. As in there, like, bugs that make her feel, like, itchy. Because she feels like she has to, oh, you know what I mean. <sighs> like my mom joke thing. A good. With the sun about to set, Twilight now spotters a disarmed mane, an insane looking grin, that the only opinion left is to create a problem. So she solves it and she spots the key to my kitchen and plays with the ball, begins growling to the pup. Also, she takes out her old doll, Smiley Pants, which is kind of ironic how my mom would be. If my mom get nervous or scared, she would hug her doll, which she named after me. I know, I know. Ironically, that was the first dog she ever made when I was around, when she found me. I wish I knew who my parents were. But in the end, I'm okay with my mom and dad. They're awesome. Awesome pony folks. In any case. Then Twilight pops the ball when it begins to grow, grow, in a red regret edited by, M by Raven M. Mollis. Don't know who that is. Twilight approached the Crusaders, tried to get them to take her old toy. Smart pants. In hopes that the Phillies will argue over to play with her first. When decided to react negative to the doll, she casts the wanted need to spell and makes it. And she says it works every time. Wait, works every time. What do you mean, Twilight? Seriously, every time? What do you mean? I mean, when have you done this before? In any case. Then they go crazy over the toy, playing with it, giggling and enjoying and trying to fight over a toy. And then she tries to break up the fight, but unable. And then she has me big Mac. Oh, be right back, folks. I got some, uh, gotta go get a drink of water. Thirsty. After drinking my last one. And yeah, I'll read the script. Yada, 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 I know. Be right back. I'm back. And where were he? Oh, yes. The big, handsome, big Macintosh who passes by to get the doll. However, upon easy retrieving it, he too fell under the spell and ran away with the doll. Evidently, Arid, all the Ponyville's fall for the spell, begin to fight over the doll. The sun finally sets up Princess Celestia's interference to under her spell and return the ponies to normal. But before then, the main five were assured and worried. Should we help Twilight? I mean, she was pretty worried about it. Without but Jack said, but all the others just shrugged it off until they saw the incident happen with the doll and the crazy. Then she explained that she's using the spell to, well, you know, create a friendship problem so she could cure it. However, that didn't do well. And then Prince Celestia brung down the power and fixed them all up. But in a twist of fun, <laughs> that cutie Mark, that cutie Big Mac Talk took the doll and loved it. <laughs> we expect. Big guy even has to love toys. Once in the library, Twilight explained her action to Princess Celestia. While Spike overheard, Princess Celestia showed her imminent fate in student, and she says that she does not acquire a letter every week. Twilight's friends barge in and plead Twilight to be merciful to her student. They admit they were wrong to deny it, and Twilight helps him as he needs the most. They apologize to allow the punishment Twilight, but Celestia requested that all Twilight's friends in her letters, friendship, from now on, but only when they actually find before she leaves. Shows Twilight that Spike made her aware of Twilight's fears and getting the best of her. After she leaves, Twilight gives Spike a loving hug. From this day forth on, I would like you to report to me every find the magic of friendship and only when you happen to discover them. Yeah. Thank you, Princess Celestia. If you just came early in the episode, who would have to do with this madness? In the end of the episode with the ponies, as well as Spike offering collaboration reports showing that they learned about taking French worries seriously. Even if it doesn't seem so, it's not letting the problems go through and hoping in order to fix them. So, 
my thoughts on the episode, well, I love the part where she goes totally mad pony on, on there and thinking that, oh, I'll be sent back to kindergarten. And that's the fact that, ooh, Felicia was like, bam, boosh, massaging that bear it was like an attack move. That was awesome. But Rain, but the gang will ignore Twilight. It would make sense. Believe me. And my mom worries over those small stuff. Her friends, Derpy Do, when they sort of call her Muffin and Bomba, would try to calm her down. They're one of her best friends. And sometimes she likes to hang out with Twilight, just to help her out with her paperwork. Strangely, my mom could organize. And yet, her cutie mark is a needle and thread. What's up with that? She could have been organization, but no, she chose to be a seamstress. Or a seamstress, you know what I mean. Mm -mm. Seeing the game like this, but rarity scene was just just too much, honestly. But then again, they were the old, they were the own, but they were as they were. So, my thoughts were the... Yeah, the smart part she was kind of funny, elaborate, but seriously, Twilight is crazy with making friends and problems. Seriously, Twilight. Girl, grow up. Everyone makes mistakes. Sometimes it can never happen. You just have to live with it. Live with the live with the responsibility of making a sec of making mistakes. It's normal. It's a part of everyday pony life. And for most folks who did not like the episode of this, here's some some Eric some info about it. I mean, ugh, sorry, the script is making me say something. This was produced by Aaron. The episode is first to be used me mastered of the theme song. It is the first episode of the series, second produced span, according to all season two, except for season two episodes. Episode was seven, and we heart warm ponies, fave, it was on the list. These are the hearts of Eve. Ugh, no way, hearts and hoops day. Ugh. Anyway, guys, bye all, and I hope you enjoy my first review, because this will be of many other reviews. Plus, I want to help my mom out today. She's have been doing a lot of stress. Adios! Every pony, all the Vita pony babies. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee.